Hey everybody, uh, Jason Hodge here, and today is day two of the Think to Succeed video challenge. I think that I'm unmuted right now. I'll find out after I finish taping this video. Well, today um, the topic is what's your greatest success? And I, you know, that you've experienced. I think that's it. Anyway, okay, so this one actually isn't in business although I've had some great successes in business but this one actually has to do with uh, this ring right here uh, my biggest success I would say is when I met my wife and told her that I loved her and uh, of course this was before we were married and uh, that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her uh, and this is how it started out you know and I, I really actually love telling the story uh, I met my wife at my mother's church years ago, uh, back in 2005, and uh, when I met her, you know, she was new in town, just kind of passing through, um, kind of like myself, right? Uh, but I told her, I said, oh, you know what, you need to come by, the family, you know, and, you know, I'll cook you a gourmet meal, and, you know, yada yada. Well, uh, we ended up, uh, you know, I didn't see her for maybe about a couple of weeks or so uh, after that, maybe two or three weeks. And I happened to be over at my mom's uh, the day that she called, and I answered the phone. And she says, oh, I haven't seen you around church in a moment. And I said, yeah, you know, sometimes I, you know, you know kind of get before the Lord at home and whatnot. And she's like, oh, yeah, I do that too sometimes. Well, that conversation turned into a seven-hour conversation. And it was one of the best conversations that I had had, bar none. It was awesome. Well, the next day... Uh, we talked again. That conversation lasted for about six hours. The following day after that, five hours. And I told her, I said, well, you know, we keep on talking on the phone. Uh, what say that I come and get you one day and, you know, we do this gourmet meal? And she's like, yeah, that sounds good. So we set up for that Thursday, right? So I went by, got lost. Uh, I was supposed to be there an hour earlier than I actually ended up showing up at her place um, finally found her right and I was just so excited I was so excited to see her you know and and I couldn't explain it but she was just so intriguing the conversations that we had and not to mention that she is a beautiful woman but that aside she really captivated my mind right and so I was kind of wondering okay well we talked on the phone really good all this time I wonder what is it going to be like not actually being in the car on a, a long drive, you know, cross town. Is the conversation still going to be good? What's it going to be like, right? Well, it turns out the conversation was just awesome. And so I told her, I said, you know, I didn't have enough time to make up the gourmet ice cream. And I was going to make her some gourmet ice cream. And I said, do you mind if we stop by the store? You know, I'll get, you know, a good health ice cream and whatnot. Uh, and she says, oh, no, no problem. So we get to the store. I opened up the door, you know, to let her out and all that. And so we're walking in the lot. Now, here's the funny thing. This has never happened to me before. Never in life, right? As we're walking, my left hand wanted to continually reach back to grab her right hand. And I'm thinking, like, what in the world is going on here? You know, this doesn't make any sense. And uh, so she didn't know what was going on. But I was having, like, my own schizophrenic moment, right? And I'm talking to myself, and I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on, but I keep on, like, wanting to grab her hand. And I don't want her thinking that I'm some kind of weird psycho person grabbing her hand. Like, I didn't know her like that, right? So we're walking. So finally, I just take my arm, and I, you know, clamp my arm, you know, with my other arm, you know, my left arm over my right arm across my chest and all that, so that it would not reach back to grab her arm walking and I said something funny I don't know what it was because you know I don't have a sense of humor and then she like shoves me right and I was like that was the best shove it was like I saw stars right well anyway so the evening was awesome you know she uh, ate you know I gave her a real quick gourmet meal not realizing that the woman can throw down in the kitchen herself she is no slouch in the kitchen she knows how to cook well Afterwards, we all sat around talking. I think we watched uh, a movie. I think we watched Crash that night or whatever. And uh, I ended up 
taking her home. It was real late. It was like one o'clock in the morning when I got her home, and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I don't want her to think that I'm dishonoring her by keeping her out too late. I definitely didn't want her father thinking that, okay, you know, what's this guy keeping my daughter out all this time for or whatever, right? So we ended up talking for another hour, and I basically floated back to the house after dropping her off. Uh, well, about a week later, well, a few days later, you know, she hung out again, and a week later, I just knew I was in love. I knew it. And so now I'm thinking, okay, am I going to tell her? Am I going to tell her that I am in love with her? And I was like, I mean, it's been a week. I mean, you know, how could I know? And what's she going to think about this? So I, I thought, well, you know what? I don't want to take the chance of not telling her that I love her and uh, missing an opportunity. I said, I mean, it could get weird. It could get very weird. She could say, hey, you know, I just wanted to be friends and all this love stuff. I don't know. And it could just ruin what could have been a potentially really great friendship. But I thought to myself, you know what? I have never done this before. And if I don't do this and nothing ever comes of this, I may have regrets. And I don't want to have any regrets. Not this time. So I'm going to tell her. So I'm on the phone with her. And then I think this is like a Tuesday. Uh, I think it was October 18th. And I told her, I said, well, you know, I got something to tell you. And she's like, well, what is it? So I said, I think I'm in love. Now my heart is about to pop out of my throat. Because I'm thinking like, okay, you did it now. You just did did it now and there was like this like silence that seemed like it was 10 years it wasn't it was probably half of a second but she responded with yeah, I think I am too and I was like well what are we gonna do about this so anyway two days later we were going out six months later I was asking for her hand in marriage and ten months later we were married so that's my greatest success story. I'm happily married to this day, and we have three wonderful children, and I'm telling you, I have no regrets. It was awesome, and it still is. Greatest success right there. Thanks for sharing the time with me. I'll catch you guys later. Jason Hodge, keeping it real.